<sighs> well, <laughs> I had to park a little bit further away than than I usually do here at Hustadsberga, simply because a f beaver fell the tree over the way, over the road. <laughs> for today then. Well, I decided to head out a little bit late because it was raining really heavily during the morning and the weather forecast said that uh, it was supposed to stop raining and clear up a little bit after that. So I thought let's head to the high ground and see if we can get some nice break in, breaks in the clouds. Uh, with a nice view and perhaps some sunlight streaming through. We're just starting to get some breaks. I can see a few of them in the sky now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just need to find, basically find a composition and, and wait, I think is the best thing to do and hope that we get something uh, in the composition we framed. I think that is my best bet for today. <laughs> I think I've found what could be a promising composition here. The first thing I really have to think about is if I want, there is a tree there, there's one right there. Do I want them in the composition as a foreground? Or I want a cleaner foreground? And the rock that I'm standing on here is very slippery, so I have to be really careful. Also, it's a slope, so it can be kind of hard to uh, put the tripod in a good way. But I'm gonna try to figure out what I want this foreground, simple, complex, or whatever. This is the composition behind me. Just this slope down here, and it's kind of been framed by trees on each side here, and we have the lovely landscape just flowing out beyond. Um, yeah, 
frame it up on 16 millimeters to include as much as possible basically or rather the distinction was how much emphasis I wanted on the foreground and I chose to use a very wide angle in order to really emphasize the foreground here because I think it's it is adding a lot into the scene um, it's adding the uniqueness else I could have just used the telephoto lens and zoomed in on the lakes and the forests down below and it wouldn't have been the same nor would it have been if I just framed it closer with the trees uh, it wouldn't have been as powerful an image I think um, what I need to do now is basically wait and hope that something interesting is going to happen out over the landscape or in the sky uh, because it's a little bit dull right now, very flat. Um, seems like it could come... Um, I think there are two possibilities. <laughs> Either it could come a break with a little bit of extra light or it could come rain. Seems like it is rain that is coming. But it's also getting a little bit brighter it seems, so it's a weird combination might be that the rain cloud moves above me and therefore opens, I don't know, I don't know. It feels like it's going to start to rain, but it's getting brighter, so that's a weird combination. And I'm just basically gonna have to take image after image when I think something interesting might be happening. Uh, I can see we have bright spots happening out in the lake as well. Uh, so having one of the brighter spots going the furthest to the right here to get more emphasis over there uh, since everything is just leading towards the right. So having something interesting happening uh, this point to the right here could be a good idea perhaps. Well, that turned out well, I think. The way that I captured it was uh, basically I took a lot of images capturing. Oh, <laughs> took a lot of images capturing different type of, uh, or when when the light did different things and when the sky looked different, and I just blended it all together individual frames where I liked certain parts of the image. So I just blended things that I like until I got to the final image. So that's a good technique to use um, in conditions like this when it, everything's changing so fast so rapidly but you only have good parts in parts of the image, not everywhere. So, that's one image in the bag. Let's see if we can find another one.
I decided to abort a little bit earlier, uh, mainly because when I was standing still waiting for the light up there, um, my fingers and my feet started to get really cold and I was trying to walk a little bit quickly to get the warmth up, but I wouldn't get warm again, so not really work with cold hands. Um, yeah, also the the rain started to come in, it's gone by now, but anyway, I have other things to do as well, so if you enjoyed this video, then please like it, if you want to see more, then please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment, and I'll get back to it as soon as possible, and I'll see you all soon again. Until next time. Goodbye.